guys, it's me again, and today I will be reading a spooky story called The Book That I Made in English Class. Viewer discretion is advised, since this story will contain some content that might not be suitable for all readers, or listeners in this case. You can go check out this story on my scratch account, rose underscore 231. Now on with the story. Have you ever heard the saying, curiosity kill the cat? Well, my friends, that saying goes oh too well with the tale of young Linda. Our tale begins with young Linda, who is a very curious one. And some say she's too curious. Linda was walking to the library for a new library book to satisfy her reading needs. As she looked around the library, a certain book had caught her attention. It was a medium-sized leather book that looked like it was as old as Mr. Hare the Librarian. She picked up the book flipped through it to the page where there was supposed to be a small record of who has read the book. Strange thing, though, there was no paper record, so she decided to do something that no one knows why she did it. Some say it was because of supernatural causes. Some say it was just because she was a dumb awful kid. <laughs> she put the book in her bag, and she quickly went to leave the library. Before she could leave, though, Mr. Hare looked at her with a blank expression. Be careful. She found what he said a bit odd, since it wasn't dark outside, and he would rarely talk. Once she made it home, she kept thinking back to what he said. What did he mean? She mumbled. She shook her head, trying to forget what he said. A sigh passed her lips as she sat down on her bed and opened the book. Each page of the book was filled with gruesome t details about an evil spirit. She shivered, reading every detail about this woman, who was named Thea. She decided to say night to her parents, since night was drawing close. Night, Maria. Night, Sam, she said, and went back to her room, where she fell asleep. When she opened her eyes, she wasn't in her bed anymore, for she was in a magical-looking forest, which looked like the one described in the book. She heard a beautiful voice coming from deep in the forest. Curiosity got the better of her as she began walking toward the voice. But she was soon stopped by a group of three ravens. Don't follow that voice, the smallest of the three spoke. Yeah, you shouldn't, the other one said. She laughed a little. This all had to be a dream. She walked past the ravens, who just shook their heads like they were disappointed. She started getting closer to the voice and saw a woman who had the characteristics of Thea. She kept walking closer, but I soon felt a sharp pain in her abdomen. She gazed down at her abdomen and saw blood and quickly looked up and there she was in front of her. She wore a long red dress. Her hair looked like long blackened vines. Her lips were the color of the night sky and her eyes looked like they were full of sorrow. The eyes that someone who has been broken would have. Why are you here? Thea screeched at her. Linda felt like she was frozen, but before she could even say anything, she felt another pain. Thea just looked at, Linda, looked at Linda as she fell to the ground and later died. The next morning, when Linda's parents went to wake her up, they were met with a gruesome sight. Linda was laying in her bed with blood everywhere. Next to her, though, was a single page with the words, Curiosity kills. They couldn't believe what happened and called authorities. Many people came up with stories with what happened to young Linda, but only a few know the true story. Remember... Curiosity killed the cat, or in this case, young Linda. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my uh, story. It was really fun to write, and uh, I will be making more stories like this in the future, and uh, that's it for now. And if you have any requests on stories I should do, then I will. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.